Hello, this is Jonathan of Censored Gaming. Overseas developers are facing challenges trying to get their games released in China. Henry Fong of Yodo One, a games localizing company that handles games overseas, discusses this and other changes in a recent Financial Times article about the very specific requirement for these games to be released. Fong quotes a representative of China's top censorship body, saying certain things would have to be changed, with examples such as main characters not being assassins, and suggesting other ideas like a cop or a soldier. While he states that interest from foreign developers is still strong, he also notes that they are prepping themselves for the censorship early as part of their development. Despite a ban on video game consoles being lifted in 2015, China still aggressively screens games from overseas prior to release in the country, with the article stating that fewer than 100 console games have been approved. Violent content in particular with games such as Bloodborne and God of War have yet to be released here with the chief executive of Sony Interactive's entertainment unit, Andrew House, claiming that the challenging censorship regime in China has dented PlayStation sales. In a previous video regarding the ban of games in South Korea, we also covered how China would not allow games that would harm anything regarding China's national unity, culture, reputation, and other factors. Daniel Ahmad of Nico Partners also stated that these details were vague, lengthen approval processes that could go on for over six months, and some companies would not try to launch their titles in China due to how long it would take. An anonymous employee at a Chinese online game company also gave some more details on the censorship, stating how characters could not be shown in short skirts, the color of blood had to be changed to black, words such as kill or die could not be used, and even the use of English is banned. Even birth systems were affected due to China's birth control policies, meaning if players wanted to have another child in the game, virtual social compensation fees would be applied. Also, rather recently, Shiva's character model was altered in the Chinese version of Final Fantasy XV, where that version added more clothing and changed her skin color compared to the original, where she doesn't wear much clothing and her skin is a pure white. Last year, Chen Yu of Shanghai-based Jufu Internet Technology wrote a letter to the state council expressing his concerns, protesting against the censorship of mobile games and how small developers will be driven out of business. However, he has yet to receive a response. Should more information become available regarding these changes to video games in China, we here at Censored Gaming will keep you updated. Thank you for watching.